Hello and welcome to vlog number 128. I'm still battling an extreme lack of motivation, so I've spent the last week doing very little. I have forced myself to get out of the house and achieve something, but it's not been easy. It's a difficult symptom to describe. If I don't understand it, why should I expect anyone else to do so? It's not that I don't want to do stuff, it's that I can't get myself to do stuff that I do actually want to do. My wife and I decided to give up our allotment at the end of this summer because my wife has been too busy with running her business to spend the required amount of time tending it and I haven't had the energy or the inclination to do so. I have actually felt pretty motivated the last couple of months for the first time in a very long time and spent some time mowing the grass, digging and weeding the vegetable beds and sowing a load of seeds. But since I stopped taking glycine because I finished the packet, my motivation has plummeted. I really need to spend time on the allotment to ensure that the time I've spent down there so far hasn't been completely wasted. And I have managed to force myself to go there twice this week. Once to harvest some spinach and rhubarb and wants to plant out a few seedlings. But I really need to spend several hours working there, and 30 minutes or so in a week just doesn't cut it. I ended up feeling quite disheartened because of the speed with which the weeds take over if you don't keep on top of things. I really want to respond to all of the birthday messages that I received last Wednesday, and I've also received a long email from a friend that I'm anxious to respond to. Simple enough you would think, but yet another day goes by without me having done either. I decided to order some more glycine to take to determine if it was responsible for the previous improvement in my mood and motivation. But I even struggled to do that. I've been intending to order some more for the last couple of weeks and eventually ordered some on Monday. It arrived on Thursday and I immediately took some, so fingers crossed that it improves things for me. The only other things I managed to achieve this week are that I research and select some stock management software for my wife's soft furnishings business and make a start on her annual stock take. And I called the DBS team in London to chase up an appointment with the speech therapist who had promised to arrange for me to have a complete shakedown of my settings, which he suspects are responsible for my speech difficulties. I don't manage to speak to the speech therapist because he is away for a couple of days, but I do leave him another message to call me on his return. So far I haven't received a call from him, so it looks like I'll have to chase him up again next week. My wife and I are spending a few days in Cumbria, supporting her dad, who is a member of the Long Distance Walkers Association, and is undertaking a non-stop 100 mile walk this weekend. This means that my wife will be forced to have a break from her business and from housework, which means that I won't have to watch her working away whilst I'm sat on my backside feeling devoid of use or purpose. I'll keep on taking the glycine and hopefully I'll get my mojo back. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.